feel the despair, the cringe, the absolute state of affairs right now. It is so bad. Subaru literally just... He's like an NPC joining in on like an important meeting and just shitting the bed and embarrassing himself and everyone around him and then leaving. And it's not even enough, bro. And then the whole conversation with Amelia. The way that he told her that you have a debt you could never pay back. You should be thankful. Didn't I make everything right? And he did. The worst part about this is that what he's saying is partially true. It's just coming out in the worst way imaginable. The mask comes off and we all realize that Subaru is not doing this for Amelia. He's trying to fucking prove his worth. Doing it for himself, his pride, ego, his envy, everything just on the line and just coming out in the worst way. Amelia dumps him. No, Amelia didn't dump him. You think they had a relationship as a fucking romantic couple? No. It was Amelia dropping off a stray dog that she picked up from the streets back onto the streets. And I think he deserves it. And there is no way that the next checkpoint will be before the events of last episode. If you want this show to have actual consequences, Super is simply regressing and being able to redo that whole conversation. I don't believe it. I think the checkpoint will happen afterwards. Julius, I think, was also a very reasonable person. I think that he gave Subaru multiple ways out to back down from the conversation. All you had to do is say that you don't know their culture. You're not a knight. But he just had to be. I'm a self-proclaimed knight. Look at me, Natsuki Subaru, embarrassing everyone. But most importantly, and the worst part is, he's not just embarrassing himself. He's embarrassing Emilia's faction. Other people are laughing at them. It looks so bad. And you know who's also smiling? Roswell. This dude is smiling and he's been making sure that Subaru was involved in the whole time, right? I don't know what plan he has. I know his objective is to kill the dragon and put Emilia in the throne, but how does this work towards his plan? He was so down with Subaru coming to the royal palace. He was so happy when Subaru fucked up. And I'm thinking to myself, it's like, what is your plan, bro? Like, what are you thinking? If, if this is truly according to your plan, maybe this is like Roswell's only way of getting rid of Subaru. For Subaru to make such a big fuck up that Amelia will throw him away and now we don't have a liability anymore and that's better. That's the one angle that I, I, I can imagine of how this helps, you know, Amelia win the throne, but I don't fucking know. Now what do we do? We didn't abandon. We have Rem though. And I fear, I fear that... Subaru is going to treat Rem in a shitty way as he continues to just blindly go chase Amelia and Rem will just glaze because that's who Rem is now and it's going to be just sad and pathetic, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, what? Wait, wait. Yo. Yo. We... We training? With Wilhelm? Wow. I mean, he's a Van Astray. I wanted Reinhardt to trail him, train, but okay. This is so bad. But like, that's the thing. He's not wrong. But again, it comes out in the worst way possible. And could you imagine your main character of a show making this kind of face? I gotta respect ReZero for making their main character even look like this. And if he was a perfect character who simply handled the situation in a calm, cool, collected manner, where would be the fun? There would be no fun. Everything would be just done. And there's no consequences. This show shows us that the main character is such a flawed and a realistic individual that you can even relate yourself to it. Him making these kind of faces, like, holy shit. This is something that you would think like the villain creepy dude would be making, but it was Subaru making those faces. <laughs> I can't believe he said that line, bro. That's like... <sighs> and the voice acting from Amelia and Subaru in that episode was fucking fantastic. And like, we can't even tell her the truth because every time we try, the witch's hand fucking grabs us by the balls. Going out of your way to play the villain for someone like him. <laughs> didn't even think about that. Him beating the fuck out of Subaru did make it seem like the other knights were even more like appalled by it. And Julius took on himself to correct him, but also be the bad guy and take some heat off of Subaru. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. The Subaru even understands. He got punished for it, huh? You is such a giga chad. Straight up. Yes. You're probably right. Mm. I'm on that grind. I'm locked in. I'm being productive. But when he's even training, all he can think about is those memories. He needs to go confront that somehow. But you can't just show up in front of Emilia's mansion. I don't think that's the right way either. What the fuck do we do? Reinhardt! Lolly gone! No, he's apologizing for kidnapping. Felt. Yeah. Okay. Apologizing on behalf of Julius. My own lack of virtue. Whoa. Virtue mentioned and not a sin. Did it have no meaning? It wasn't really a duel though. The meaning was Julius trying to be the bad guy there and kind of take some heat off of Subaru while also correcting his ass, right? Did you learn anything, Subaru? Yeah, damn. I don't know exactly how much of a punishment Julius got for doing that shit, but it sounds like he took a fat L career-wise, huh? So again, going out of his way for this fucking idiot. And still, like, I wonder if Subaru even realizes what Julius was trying to do. Gave him multiple avenues to apologize and back down. And even when that didn't happen, took upon himself to become the bad guy and correct him. But even after all that, does Subaru even understand? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Show him the Van Astrea fucking swordsmanship right now. You really... He just doesn't know. He's too overcome with anger, right? Wrath, the pride, won't let him fucking bend down and apologize on behalf of you. And he took a hit to the career he didn't need to. Your ass could have been just cooked, but he went out of his way to try to make you learn and... This guy sucks, but hey. We're hitting rock bottom, right? We're trying to hit rock bottom right now. Let's see how further into the despair we can go. Poor Reinhardt. Reinhard. Bro, come on. It's a friend reaching out when no one else will. And you're gonna slap away the hand that's trying to fucking help you up when you're on your fucking ass. But that's the mentality of people that's too fucking, you know, depressed or angry at themselves. Straight up. Like, when people are super depressed or, like, angry at themselves, you know what happens? When people reach out to help, when genuinely good people are there trying to fucking help you out even though no one else will, you lash out at them. Because you're mad at yourself, but you want, you can't fucking, you don't know how to internalize it. So it comes off in a way where you lash out at the person that's trying to help you out. It's just so fucked. Rem enabling. Rem glazing, bro. Rem enabling and glazing Subaru. And you say this is your best girl. You know what Ram would say? Ram would say, Barusu, get your ass back here and sit down. And then make him apologize to Reinhard. <laughs> Beat his ass, Wilhelm. <laughs> Beat his ass, Wilhelm. I don't even know if Wilhelm's even having fun right now. Wilhelm just probably looks disgusted at him. I feel like with each exchange, he can feel how just impure he is. And like, this is just fucking pointless. And he's just doing it because the favor of the guest or some shit, right? They mentioned before Krush or something of like, why Wilhelm's going out of his way to like, you know, train, quote unquote, train him. <laughs> up rem <laughs> lap pillow <laughs> rem lap pillow wait first lap pillow from rem what the fuck i remember how back in like episode low was like i don't know like eight or some shit they'd always like shit on him it's like it's the lap pillow isn't it yeah it's the lap pillow <laughs> you are pathetic and you don't deserve rem rem is blinded by your heroic acts last arc 
and she will protect, continue to glaze, I think that Rem deserves better. Just call them pathetic, but... She's toxic to you. Because you're pathetic, I'm staying with you. Because you'd be even worse off without me? Not been ordered to. Alright, Rem glaze, Rem glaze. Because she loves you, bro. This dude better treat her right. But I feel like with the way we're going down this rabbit hole of depression, like, I don't... I can already imagine what kind of horrific things he's going to do to Rem while Rem just gets abused and he's just taking advantage of her. But she also just, again, ever since the arc 2, the way that he, like, acknowledged her Oni backstory, you know, making sure, giving her encouraging words to live on for the future and shit, and all the heroic acts. I know why Rem glazes, but at the same time, it's just like, fuck. Ah, she deserves better. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> looks like a bounty board. <laughs> it straight up looks like a fucking bounty board, dead or alive. Rem handling the Appa joint? Damn! Rem's a professional. Rem, honestly, can probably make more sales than the Alpha guy. Having a cute maid girl be the face that you see in front of the store is going to do much better in, t in, in business profits than having a mean-looking guy like this that calls people broke if you don't have money to buy Alpha. True, brother. Make Lugunika great again! We can't vote for this goddamn half-elf taboo witch! Evil! <laughs> but you get to see the perspective and the opinions of the masses. And the Appa guy is that. He's not a bad person. But obviously there's this prejudice and propaganda going around with the Satella and being the half-elf and, you know, that just, just ravaged the fucking world before. So obviously people are going to be afraid. But this is not an election in a democratic way, right? I still don't know how the royal selection works, but... If it, I don't think it's an electoral vote, is it? Is it just gonna be battle royale? I'm not sure. We don't know that. We straight up don't know that, right? It doesn't mean she has anything to do with the witch. Honestly, I could believe that it does. I mean, we're only like 13 episodes in. But there's a lot of correlations of how he got the powers and how Satella's imagery of the hands. And remember, what is the theory right now? The theory is all the powers began from the first run when he died in the loot cellar as the desire to save Amelia no matter what. Satella heard the wishes and gave him the regression power is my theory. And then you have to wonder why does Satella give him the powers? Because Amelia is important to Satella's awakening in my opinion. If we're going to treat this like a demon lord sealed away because a dragon sage and a hero sealed um, the witch away a long time ago in order to break that seal, I could totally believe that Amelia is either a sacrifice, a vessel, some sort of key to unlock this. And therefore, it's in Satella's best interest to have someone like Subaru who's so willing to go out his way to make sure that Amelia is alive, right? I think that's what's going on. So at that point... I think it's definitely feasible that she definitely has much to do with the witch. But beyond that, I'm not sure. The show hasn't confirmed that. Huh? Mm, now he's fucking up, bro. Now he's fucking it up. But this does not explain how he came to this world. Well, I thought it would make sense. Because in the anime, right... And the death in the loot cellar and him getting transported to another world happen in parallel. And at that point, the whole title of beginning of the end, end of the beginning, I thought that the anime was trying to tell us that those things happen in tandem. And even though it feels like it was a chicken or the egg, right? Maybe it's a circular thing somehow. But then people are like, well, in the light novel, that never happened. It's an anime only thing. So I'm like, there goes that theory. <laughs> She does. Even right now, bro. Even... What the fuck is this dude's outfit? <laughs> wow. Look at this. Damn, bro. He shaved this off and... 
Bro, we're hanging her a little. Anyways, the whole thing right now going on with Subaru, bro. Like, he's just fucking up in front of the Appa guy, too. But at least he's like aware from the conversation and catches himself. Oh. Oh. You double downing! Bro, don't you know the lore? Didn't he listen from the books? How the witch like ravaged like half of the fucking population or something? Half the world? That's the thing. Again, if it's like a popular vote, how the fuck could Emilia ever win? The people that she's trying to bring equality and peace to don't even believe that she's like a rightful fucking candidate, that she's a fucking taboo witch. But here's the interesting thing. What kind of idiot would actually support her? So even though it seems disadvantageous of how like Emilia is like seemingly like a half-elf witch, right? Seemingly, and they think that she's like closely related to Satella. Wouldn't it be more compelling that someone that faces the discrimination and prejudice has worked up the courage to basically uh, get rid of all the assumptions that she's a half felt, but and then vouch for peace and equality for everyone here? I think that's a pretty decent angle from like a PR perspective of how to look at Amelia like look good. That is the win condition. To have her be the full, the face of like person who's faced racism and prejudice, but them working on your be on your behalf, I think that's a pretty good run. But again, how much does a popular vote matter in this? What would happen? <laughs> what, what what would happen? Is someone listening? Maybe there's some cult members around us listening right now. Thank you, Appa guy. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> Deserved. Fuck you, Subaru. <laughs> Listen. I still like Natsuki Subaru, but the Natsuki Subaru we're seeing right now is not the one I was cheering for. So I'm gonna cheer on every time he gets shit on right now when he deserves it. He deserves this shit. She's holding that to herself. I can't understand if you don't... And that has to tie in with how she was afraid to go to the village with Subaru, right? To be seen with him, right? Every time, she doesn't want other people to get wrapped up due to how she's perceived. And she was afraid that other people would then admonish Subaru too with that association. Can we do something with this to move forward? Is this the key to getting back to Amelia's footsteps? Hmm. The fuck is that sound? What what is that sound effect? What? What what what? I don't know what the fuck is crying there, but yeah. She found your daughter you sob? True. But I don't think that Appa guy knew that was Amelia, right? Kinda fucked, huh? How Amelia saved uh, found the kid for Appa guy in this time, but like he never knew and now he's kinda shitting on her butt. What the fuck is that noise? What the fuck is that noise? Is that a dragon? Is that a dragon, bro? Something is crying. An animal? Screech? Oh. Oh, he heals. Oh! Okay, Krush, let's go! One people on Krush! Looks nice. The breeze, eh? Are we gonna get drunk together? Alright, we don't have Amelia, but we have Krush now, I guess. Thank you. Cheers. That's the healing? <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's just getting a train run on him. What? <laughs> Rem definitely doesn't need to do this, but she's doing it for fun. So the healing maybe tickles, and Rem is like, Oh no, put your head here and get locked in! Rem's taking advantage of the situation, 100%. Alright. Very vague, but due to a certain circumstance, certain occurrence, my family is currently gathering people and objects? Objects? Weapons? Arms? You mobilizing forces? War? 
Not wedding. No, chill, chill. Is it? Lies. Okay. Elsa subs? El subs? Fetis versus Felix? Let's see it. I want to see it for myself. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Felix, Felis, or Ferris? Which one is it from the ReZero sub? The real name is Felix. The nickname is in Japanese kanji, which can be translated as Ferris. So Felix's name, the Ferris, is a more accurate translation, but you guys know him as Felix. Like, I'm just letting you know right now that the subs I'm using right now, like, it's pretty sweaty. It is extremely sweaty amongst the pirates. So even though you think it's L because you got some normie sub with using Felix, Ferris might be an even more accurate representation of his name. Now, I'm just ballparking. I'm just... It's just my assumptions, but... Ferris might be like a more accurate sweaty fucking subs. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't get the Barusu part though. Why balls? B A L S E. That thing I didn't get because Barusu is simply Subaru but backwards. No. No, no. What happened there? Subaru changed the topics from getting teased as Amelia single, you think other dudes are gonna op op offer proposals, into Wilhelm's beautiful wife, then Crucius. Kind of, yeah. What's up? Huh? What are you doing? Vulnerable? Says you! You're literally always vulnerable in this outfit. You can only be vulnerable to me. Men are nothing but wolves. You're not a man? You're a boy. It's a cat boy. <laughs> yeah, he did pretty much make that clear that he's super simping for Amelia. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. Oh, keep your head up, King? Mm, very motivational, but if you look at Subaru's look the entire episode, you can tell that like he's definitely... Not the same Subaru, right? The look in his eyes is even more cold and edgy than before due to the events of last episode. <laughs> Keep your head up, King. Don't let the crown slip. True. Enemy. Well, we are rivals against other factions. We do need to get on that. What can we do at this point? Simply going up to Roswell's mansion and apologizing on our knees, I don't think is enough. There needs to be some act of... It can't be just words. We need to show her that we truly do care about her and we're trying to help her. I mean, maybe Amelia will be, like, in a very abstract way, the easiest way would be, Amelia in danger! Natsuki Subaru shows up to save the day! Emilia goes, wow, you're so cool, and we're back. I mean, that's like a very vague, abstract way of doing it, but like, is there anything specific we can do right now? I don't know. Die? <laughs> Die? <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm surprised he hasn't tried it. I am honestly surprised that he hasn't tried killing himself to see where the new checkpoint is. I'd be curious. I would be curious where the checkpoint is. Wait, is he back? Is he back? Oh, I know it's scary to die. He's kind of said that, of course, but I thought that he would try at least for Amelia. I can't tell if this is a good omen or not. Like... Is this a good look for in his eyes? It kind of sounds like he got the resolve back thanks to Crucian uh, Felix, but we'll see. The wind's picking up. Bad weather tomorrow. All right. 
や、ファックマブル。そろそろ終わりにいたしますかな。ご冗談を読みましたがよ。え、yeah. <笑>、is he getting better? Yeah, the resolve is back. 昨日の夜、来栖さんにお悩み相談してもらってあれば。Basically, do you know how to tell if Subaru is gonna be good or bad? Look at the lines around his eyes. If there's more shading, <laughs> more lines, it means depressed, angry Subaru. No lines? Happy Subaru. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I believe that learning swordsmanship is meant to strengthen a man. But to teach it to one who has decided to forsake strength would defeat the purpose. Wilhelm can tell that Subaru has already forsaken strength. What is strength in this context? Wilhelm understands Subaru at a very deep level. And he is forsaken strength right now. Hmm. <laughs> Way too deep for me. This is some warrior shit, bro. What's up? What's up? What? はレムから聞いているかレムが感じたのは気配のようなもので姉様の千里眼ならもっとわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわわ Yo, the cult members? Yeah. Because Roswell openly declared his support for Amelia, there's movements. There is people trying to assassinate Amelia right now. I mean, don't you think it's time for the cult to show up? I've been waiting for a long time. Even in the fucking memory of snow, remember the ending when snow's falling down? The cult dudes were outside. So, I think now is about the right time to introduce them, don't you think? Half-wits. Is this his big chance? Is it his chance to save Amelia in danger? Save the damsel in distress? <laughs> And he says... It's, this happens as soon as I'm gone. I feel like this line here. The moment I leave her side, this happens. Isn't that so self-absorbed? I don't know. Like, like, really, bro? You think, like, I understand he's saying this more of, like, this isn't him saying, like, oh, this is happening because I'm gone now, but more like, oh, no. As soon as I'm gone, this is happening, right? But, like, it does kind of seem audacious that, like, what? <laughs> you think you could have done something about it? Natsuki Subaru! It's me! I don't like the smile on his face. Even though it sounds like we're getting something good going again, this whole dialogue of being self absorbed is only I can do it? Nah, bro. Remember. Everything worked out because you threw aside the pride and ego and asked for help with Reinhardt in Arc 1. Think about asking for help. Why don't you ask for help right now for Krush? Fuck it, even though if Krush is an enemy. Fuck it, ask Wilhelm. Ask anybody. Ask them, just try. <laughs> Fucking ask Julius. I bet Julius would care. Straight up, if he asked Julius right now, I bet Julius would help out. Because he respects Emilia Sama so much. And even we had that clash, Julius is a bigger man. <laughs> We have to go and help. We can't even go help. Because we gotta get our gate fixed first. And if we went there, then honestly, Amelia would be more pissed. Even if we have good intentions, they'd be like, you broke my promise again or some shit. Rem confronting? Hold up, Ren no longer glazing? No, no, don't be gaslit, Rem. Do not be gaslit, Rem. Rem, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us helped, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emilia went out of her way to do it. Then we're enemies. That's a pretty hard position to be in. So if we leave now, they become our enemies too. So everything tells me that we should sit down. 
We don't even know if bad shit's gonna happen. We just sense the movement. Plus, they have Roswell and Puck and shit. It should be fine. We should just sit here, heal ourselves, try to make Krush like an ally, and then when we're ready, go out. She gonna try to kill us? Stop. Stop. What are you doing, dude? Krush is being reasonable and laying down the contracts and the terms that she's working with. You're literally a dude from a different faction, an opposing rival faction, and she went out of her way to fucking heal you. Because Amelia made the con- And then you're gonna do this shit and fuck up this bridge too. <laughs> yeah, we're not hit rock bottom yet. We're not rock bottom yet. Yeah, we keep, we're gonna keep going down. Let's burn every fucking bridge possible. All the way down, baby. No, bro. He's fucking up way too much. Damn. Like, what are you gonna do, bro? And Phineas doesn't know that we can regress, but like, can he honestly do anything at this point? So even angry, angry Felix, even when angry Felix, he'll try to always put in a cat pun there. <laughs> even when angry, meow, new, don't still realize that. He's right. Felix is right. You fucking idiot. The sound effect happening in the background. More just, it just sounds like we're just falling into more abyss, dude, hitting rock bottom. The whole scene there was so fucking bad. Literally could have been allies, literally could have just stayed here and healed and then tried to figure out some sort of diplomacy or different agreements to help each other out. Maybe there's a way that we can mutually benefit, right? Like his assumption that Krush is, like if you think about it in a really game theory way, it is better for Krush. For Amelia to be taken up out, right, by some other people, right? Yeah, they're all contesting for the throne, but like, Krush literally went out of her way to get a fucking contract with Amelia to heal your ass. Are you gonna treat her like this after what she did last night? <sighs> Our sins know no bound. Our wrath. This is more wrath, Subaru, right? I don't think we've really seen Subaru this angry before. It's a combination of envy, pride, wrath, in my opinion. <laughs> Takes that long to get there? Fog over the road. Fog? Lore! Fog is created by the white whale. What's the white whale? Really? First time hearing the white whale? Don't fuck around with it. But a whale exists in the water. It's on the road? This, this fucking whale is literally just on the road right now, just creating fog? He even lent us a dragon carriage, bro. Dub Rim. Blocking us out, bro. They are blocking us out, bro. To protect you? To push him away? Maybe there's further interference. Stop. No, this is the wrong way to do it. Remember, remember, it's to stop. Stop it with the only I can do it. I, you probably can in a different way. This is not the way to do it, though. You're approaching it all the wrong way. The outcome... Is like, yes, for sure, but the way you're doing it is so fucked. You need to let this shit go. Repeating mistakes over and over again, man. I want to see this fog in the whale, though. You're tired. We're gonna share a bed with Rem? Nope. One puck, two puck, one Roswell, two Roswell, one Rem, oh. two Rem, Rem in nightgown? Hey, what's going on, girl? Alright. Okay. 
共感覚で知らされた分レモンはいたよな Probably, yeah. 大丈夫だって可愛げのあるメンツじゃねえすぐ戻って俺が Are you sure about that? 信じています She's too good for him, man. <laughs> Straight up? I'm sorry Rem is way too good for Subaru She deserved better than this piece of shit right now I hope he treats her better later on but it's just like Bro When we're just alone and at the bottom of despair and we still haven't hit rock bottom yet like Rem still exists being like this shining beacon of hope just chilling and just trying to help us out she's too good i definitely understand why people say rem best girl over and over again and we haven't even got to the huge moment with rem yet either right do you not understand bro this is healing glowing oh shit rem can do it too oh right here i want every person that shit on my subs to fucking apologize right now my subs are so fucking sweaty. It knows how to differentiate the nickname Fetis used by Krush versus other people referring to Felix as F-E-L-I-X. You normies honestly don't even know how to appreciate like Michelin three-star subs because you're so used to eating up sob. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Bunch of fucking normies busting into a restaurant saying and look at this expensive ass fucking sub and you're like, trash, it's Felix. You know, mm -mm, mm -mm. my subs are fucking goaded, recognized on the high seas, extremely sweaty. So this So do you get it, dude? That she loves you? Immediately turns into fucking conversation about Amelia rather than accepting Rem's feelings. Is he? The one at the end of season arc 2 that saved her? Yes. That Subaru is amazing. I miss that Subaru. This Subaru is not it, bro. Come on, man. So you're feeding into the delusion! Emilia's hopeless without me? No, you're the hopeless one, motherfucker! Emilia, Poor Rem. Has to hear this dude fucking gush about Emilia while Rem is literally behind you. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying too, please. Rem some love. Give Rem some love, bro. This is so fun. She's just gonna be the ultimate cucked girl at this rate. Dude, Rem doesn't deserve this. Please don't go anywhere. Rem went ahead. Why? Rem went ahead to do what? I don't know. Why did she go ahead? Please don't go anywhere. She did this for Subaru? To save his ass? To try to fucking save Amelia with the- I don't know, what? Oh, not this soundtrack! Not this soundtrack! Not this- This is Chain of Memories! Stop it! Poor NPC. What did he do, bro? Why does it have a mushroom dickhead cut? Not this soundtrack, bro. Not this soundtrack, bro. <laughs> What does she write? What is she right? She went ahead, but the dragon carriage is gone. I am there to talk. Kito Subarukun, a lemon of cotton, or it. Who has came a lemon of cotton? You wish to cut aside. She went to the mansion by herself to do what? To save Amelia? All right, we found the transport guy. Otto. New character. Actually, this character is probably gonna be so fucking important because I seen his ass in the three season three poster, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this dude. All right, he's finally here, the green dude. Otto. <laughs> Surprised they're introducing this character, who seems to be important even into season three, based by the cover picture, and he's just getting just like overlapped by fucking Rem's monologue right now with the letter. <laughs> We're just completely skipping Otto's introduction. <laughs> All right, we got a carriage. No, that's not it. You're jumping to conclusions. She clearly loves you more than anything, and she wants to fucking help you out by trying to solve it by herself. In fact, 
Is what Rem doing kind of similar to what like Subaru is doing? You know? Because like, you know how Subaru keeps constantly like does things by himself, trying to help other people? Rem right now also is like trying to help Subaru by trying to take it upon herself. That's what's happening right now, right? I'm so sorry, Alto. You're getting wrapped into this right now. <laughs> this poor guy, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, Subaru. You don't deserve Rem. Rem deserves way better. Yo, Alto, drop his ass and leave. Fucking literally push him out of the cart. Fuck him right now. What the fuck was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was the noises? Something. That was us. That was that us? No, that wasn't us. Unless the gate's really literally in front of us right now. Because that thing just made it to the gate. The land dragon says sus. What's beyond this dark path, bro? Okay. That's the village that we're in nearby always with the kids. Alright. Nah, drop his ass. <laughs> cult, 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 pointy hats, pointy hats, pointy hats, cult members. <laughs> We're circled. We are circled by the cult members in the pointy hats. They're here, dude. We saw them at the end of Emory Snow. So do you think, like, those cult members were literally being mobilized at the end of Memory of Snow? And it, like leans right into this like they were getting ready to fucking assassinate amelia but it didn't happen until roswell publicly declared it right so i don't know but we've we've seen a group of them before yeah did they just bow they did because the witch's stench because he's loved by satella yo let's just join the cult I bet we could be the Grand Wizard, bro. If I was Subaru, a part of me would be like, fuck it, I'm gonna be a cult leader, bro. What the fuck is this respect from the cult members? They all bowed because of the stench, right? They, re they respect him. So, what, where is this going? What? How much do they respect him? Could he order them to step down? I don't know. <laughs> that was sick, though. First introduction to the cult members. Do they bow in respect? Is everyone dead? What happened? Is everyone dead? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Also, did the cult members run the other way? Am I crazy or did the cult members run the other way? They did run the other way. Meaning, the job's already been done, right? They went the other way super... They already fucked up the match. It's over. It's over. They're already dead. They're already fucking dead, bro. And there's fire in their smoke, dude. It's over. It's a fucking wrap. Cult members literally finished their job, paid their respect to fucking Subaru and left. Oh, the shit. The credits are rolling. Oh, fuck. Yo, are the kids dead? Are the kids dead? We see hunched over bodies. I think this is dead people. <sighs> is he just so shocked that he doesn't even know how to react right now? I'm certain I'm, I'm certain there's a corpse on the ground, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The cult members were here. That's their fucking cross daggers. Pool of blood he's stepping on, right? Is that a body? Corpse? Literally just corpses. Burning the corpses. I'm pretty sure those are burnt children. Maybe it's not, but the villagers definitely got burnt up here. <laughs> Why are you... Hold on a second. When he's literally having a mental fucking breakdown as we see corpses literally being burnt. You gonna drop a fucking banger of a fucking song? <laughs> Just like Jujutsu Kaisen with Itadori Yuji? <laughs> it's the head! It's the granny, right? It's the fucking granny that grooved her ass! <laughs> this is so fucked up! It's so hype right now, but we're witnessing this guy have a mental breakdown!
I mean, it's pretty obvious what's gonna happen, right? But it's fine. It's fine. We can regress. We can prevent this. I, I refuse to believe a checkpoint will happen after this. No, no, no. But goddamn, you can see the cult fucking daggers with their signature cross, with their... This is the shit that we saw in the flashback, too, of the Oni village, man. The sickness cult despairs today's episode, man. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that ending was fucking hype in a weird way. I feel like they should have played some fucking sad soundtrack. But, like, you can't get me crying and emotional if you're, like, playing, like, woohoo, just lit fucking songs, bro. God damn. What an episode. So what is happening? The cult members are attacking Amelia's mansion or Roswell's mansion. Why? Because Roswell Mathers declared publicly that he's backing this half-elf. And what does the cult members want? If we're going with my original theory, it's to use Amelia as a sacrifice, a catalyst, a vessel, a key, something to awaken the sealed away witch. So maybe... So now, I, I guess... They know where Amelia is, right? Before, maybe they didn't realize where she was, but now that Roswell L. Mathers literally like, said it out loud in public, and people are like, all right, they're at the mansion, and now they're going to attack. So this is the new, you know, uh, the new, uh, what's it called? The new challenge we need to overcome. How do we prevent the cult members from killing Amelia, or I don't even know if she's killed, actually, from killing Rem and Ram and, like, the other people here? Subaru can't do this alone. There is, like, we could try to get Reinhardt's help, for sure, but, like, this is looking fucking dangerous. On, on top of that, there's some other interesting lore with the White Whale and the Fog, right? And what else did we learn? Well, we, there's this new Oto guy as well, and Subaru, he's not changing. He's not. Until he can realize his own actions are basically his own destruction, like, he's not changing. Everything Rem said, Subaru is still convinced that it's only him that can save everything. And thank fucking God that Rem is still here, you know, for Subaru as a beacon of hope, even if he doesn't fucking deserve it. And with Rem dead at the very end, maybe he'll figure out a way to kind of correct himself as he realizes that maybe, you know, I, sh I need to better myself or else Rem's going to die again and that's going to be the main motivator to beat it. I'm not sure. Krush... I don't think she is a bad person. I don't think her outlining the terms of contract to say that you're going to be my enemy after you leave is rude at all. That's just professionalism. In fact, they literally took on an enemy faction person and decided to heal them. But you're going to fucking treat it like that? It's such a bad run we're having. But hey, we can regress. It's just, when is a checkpoint going to be? My guess is basically as soon as Amelia leaves the room. Because like that shit's got to stay in place. When Amelia throws away the fucking stray dog known as Subaru, I hope that's what a checkpoint will be and we'll figure out a different way to acquire allies and to overcome this new trial against the cult members. And, dude, the way that the cult members literally bow to Subaru, that shit, oh, chills, brother. The cult fucking recognizes him because of the witch's stand. Think of the possibilities he could have by using the cult members or whatever his stench is. Like, I want to know more about the mechanics at play here, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.